One dead, two missing after a tubing trip goes horribly wrong. What was supposed to be a fun day of tubing for five friends on the Sono River in Java, Indonesia ended in tragedy. On March 2nd, Dagu Setiawan, Shamsho Maro Reef, and Aziz Muslam set out with two other friends, Chayo and Wildan. Three of the men never made it home. The five arrived at the river at around 3 p.m., unaware that the stream had become dangerously strong due to recent heavy rains. Not realizing the danger, they heaved themselves into their tubes and let the rushing water carry them downstream. But the water was just too fast. Thrown around, Agu, Samsol, and Aziz lost their grip and disappeared under the churning water. Only Chayo and Wildan made it to shore. At around 6.30 p.m., a local resident found Agus's body wrapped around a tree branch in the middle of the river, his tube still tethered to his ankle. The distraught families of Samshul and Aziz have no such closure, however, as the two young men have yet to be found. YouTube's ad policies are killing creators, but you can help. Be a hero at patreon.com slash tomonews. Keep watching for more tales of adventures that turned into tragedy. Base jumpers' parachutes tangle in midair. Two base jumpers are lucky to be alive after their parachutes became tangled midway through a jump outside Phoenix's Superstition Mountains. Scott Frankson and his buddies were out seeking adventure, but what was supposed to be a day filled with aerial gliding turned into a nightmare. Watch Scott's friend miscalculate his turn and collide on top of him, intertwining their parachute lines together. The impact of the collision sends the pair spiling around each other, enough times to cut Scott's parachute lines, leaving him with only half an effective shoot. Just before hitting the jagged sharp rocks, the pair lucks out and manages to break free from each other over a boulder field some 200 feet beneath them. Scott's friend somehow breaks free with his parachute still intact, untangling his lines just before landing. Scott, however, only having half a chute, spirals uncontrollably before crashing into a massive boulder. Luckily, his parachute lines hook on top of a boulder, preventing him from hitting the ground. Both jumpers must have had the big man upstairs watching over them. The pair walked away with just minor injuries, nothing short of a godly miracle. Watch this hang glider crash land into a house. This video, recorded on a camera attached to the back of a hang glider, shows what happens when gliding is combined with poor judgment. If you're saying to yourself, I should really get into hang gliding, that looks like pant loads of fun. Just wait until this guy attempts to land this thing before you book your session. It doesn't get much better than soaring through the open sky. And it doesn't get much worse than a gust of wind when you're trying to land. Miraculously, I had just a few bruises, but the crash caused $2,000 worth of damage to the glider. The glider later wrote online. Let's see that again in slow motion. Luckily, the glider smashed through the lattice and didn't crack his noggin on one of those support beams. Teenage tourist dies bungee jumping from a bridge in Spain. A 17-year-old Dutch tourist died after bungee jumping from a bridge over the Cadeja River in the northern Spanish region of Cantabria on Monday. The girl was reportedly camping with a group of tourists, and the bungee jump was organized by a local adventure company. There were a number of problems, authorities said. It seems the harness was not properly secured, the jump might not have been authorized, and they were doing a style of bungee jumping called punting, where there are two ropes and the jumper swings under the bridge. She jumped and fell about 130 feet to her death when she hit the riverbed below the bridge. Emergency services arrived Monday night, and the girl was pronounced dead at the scene. Psychologists are treating the witnesses of the tragedy, and an investigation is reportedly underway. Aussie college student falls off cliff, posing for picture in Norway. 24-year-old Australian exchange student Chrisit Kefkalidis fell to her death on Saturday, while posing for a picture at the Trolltunga Rock Formation in Oda, Norway. On Saturday afternoon, Kef Kalidis was visiting the picturesque spot with a group of classmates from the University of Bergen. She was in a group tour of 30 people who went to the epic location 2,300 feet above Lake Rangedalsvetnet. It's a popular spot to take daring photos. But it turned tragic when Kef Kalidis fell off the side of the ledge. 
She reportedly lost her balance and plunged 980 feet to the rocks below. Red Cross rescue teams began their search for Kef Kalidas on Sunday morning. Her body was found Sunday night. Kef Kalidas was a student at Monash University in Melbourne. She had enrolled in an exchange program at the University of Bergen to study arts and science. The University of Bergen will hold a memorial service for Kef Kalidas today.